Welcome! Do you want to be an example for people? When people watch your life, they look at you, they consider your character, how you behave, what you do, what you don't do, then they say, well, I want to be like you. If you want to be an example for people, then this message is for you. Stay with me. For you too can be a hero of faith. My attitude, my character, on the mountaintops of life and in the valleys, God is with you. The Bible is a book about real people, genuine people, people like you and me, people who went through the ups and downs of life. But through all these experiences, they found out I can trust God. I can have real faith in this God. And then you don't know God only by what people told you. People tell you believe in God, trust in Jesus. Other people tell you what they experience with God. This person tells me, well, I found out that God is real. This man, he said, God helped me. He spoke to me. No, then it's your real life experience. It's not just what you hear from people, hearsay or rules, you know, uh, don't do this, do, do that, then you are a real believer. No, then your faith, your trust is based on the God who is always with you. On the mountaintops of life and in the valleys, God is with you. Then you know, I can really trust this God. I have real faith. Uh, the Bible has a chapter we call the chapter of faith. It has a long list of men and women, their names and their lives. And we call these people the heroes of faith. And it's as God is putting a mirror in front of you, examples. And he's saying, watch their life, consider their life, their attitude, their reactions, their failures, how they came back to me. Watch and learn. For you too can be a hero of faith. It's not impossible. It's not too difficult. God is telling you today, at this moment, learn from these people. For you too will become a hero of the faith. One of these heroes of the faith is Enoch. This man Enoch is mentioned in this list. Let's read the scripture, what the Bible tells us about him. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And he was not found, because God had translated him, for before his translation he had this testimony, that he pleased God. So the Bible tells us here that he pleased God, that God had translated him, he didn't die, he had a lot of faith, he trusted God. But this hero of faith, he must be my example. I have to watch carefully his life and imitate him. But then I have to know, what did he do? What is his faith? Because I do want to follow his example. But then I have to know his actions, his attitude. And what did he do? I really want to follow his life. I really want to follow his example. Now, if we turn to the beginning of the Bible, a few thousand years earlier, in the Bible book of Genesis, we find another scripture about his life. Let me read it for you. And Enoch lived 65 years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300, 300 years, and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. So here it again says that he walked with God, even twice, and that God took him away so he didn't die. But this hero of the faith, I want to imitate his life. But at, at this moment, I don't know what to do. Should I do this or don't do that? What should I do to become a hero of the faith? By studying his life, I don't know what to do. So what was his profession? <laughs> I don't know. Was he a farmer? Was he a soldier? Was he a governor? <laughs> I don't know. Was he rich, poor? I don't know. Probably he was rich, but I don't know. Was he brave? Was he tall? Was he small? All these things are not for us described in the Bible, so we don't know them. But it does say that he pleased God. So dedication must be important. 
not his actions, but his heart. So if I want to please God, then I must know God. I must understand the Almighty. How else can I please this mighty God? So this is not about what I do. It's about my attitude, about my character. So now I understand. Well, at least I hope I understand. This faith, this pleasing God is not about rules. Give me a lot of rules. Tell me what to do, what not to do. And if I obey those rules, then God is pleased with me. And then I am a hero of the faith. <laughs> no, 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 no. If I carefully look at the life of Enoch, it's not about obeying God. It's more about trusting and knowing God, living with God. That's why the Bible tells us Enoch walked with God. So this is totally different than what I want and many people want. Just give me some rules and I will obey them. No, this is about listening to God, listening for God and loving God. And then you will be a hero of faith. And all these other actions, they will come out of it. At this moment, I want to say this prayer. It's a prayer about you and me. Lord God, at this moment, I ask you to forgive us, Lord. For we, I want to have rules, Lord. I want to give you my obedience. But Lord, you want me to give you my heart, Lord. Please forgive me for this mindset, Lord. Lord, we want to know you more and more. We want to know you better and better, Lord. We too want to be examples for other people, for believers and for non-believers, oh Lord. Guide us, open our minds, open our hearts, speak to us all the days of our life, oh Lord. And one day, Lord, I hope to hear you say to me, I was pleased with you. And other people will say, you were a real example for me. Thank you for being a hero of the faith. Lord, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to support me or if you want to have more, like, more messages like this, please like it and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Share it with someone so someone can also be blessed. Be blessed and stay blessed. You want me to give you my heart, Lord. We too want to be examples for other people. And one day, Lord, I hope to hear you say to me, I was pleased with you.